Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to play What Remain of Edit 3, Episode 3. I'm so sorry because I cannot upload daily because there's some personal stuff. So I'm apologize. So there's not a lot left we have in this episode. There's only four we need to discover so we shall continue. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I now pronounce you. Husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. appeared and quickly went, but all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Hey, the thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father it's said was, make the music louder. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. She never talked about him, but mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus.
My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. She spent a summer building houses in Kolkata, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good, almost normal, but it didn't last. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday when Edie gave him a castle. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush.
and comment down below and I'm going to yeah, I'll talk to you later